Well, it's just a matter of days before San Francisco's new library opens. The $100 million building will offer much more than just books. And here's your chance to check it out. New Center Force John Kessler joins us from the library with a sneak preview. John? Emerald, update on that price. I think it's more around $137 million. Here she is. They're giving the media a tour right now. Uh, Stricky, pan up there, and I'll run down some of the things you can find. Seven stories tall. On the f top floor, roof garden and terrace, uh, San Francisco History Center, also historic uh, photograph collection. Fifth floor, environmental center, magazines and newspapers, government information center. Fourth floor, arts and music center, study rooms, audio visual center. We come to the third floor, the international center. Second floor, library for blind and print handicap. On the first floor, Deaf Services Center, and underneath us, on the bottom floor, you'll find uh, not only an auditorium, but a cafe and an exhibition gallery as well. But somebody said, like a book, she may not be much to look like on the outside. You have to judge it by what's on inside. So let's take you inside. As I said, $137 million, the new main uh, library, 32 miles of stacks. That will hold more than a million books, 5 million government documents, 50,000 microfilm documents, and thousands of audiovisual materials. As a matter of fact, it has hundreds of public computer terminals located with materials online. There are 12 multimedia stations inside and free access to the information superhighway. Now, it also has a children's center. The children's center alone is larger than any of the 26 existing branch libraries, just the children's center, and they have children's books in there in 50 different languages. And I think probably one of the neatest things in there is a service for the blind. It is a device that gives you a little audio tour. Yeah, this receiver, which picks up um, an infrared sign that's in the environment. And if I point it this way. And exit to Globe Street. Stairs down to first floor for information desk, checkout desk, and exit to Globe Street. And it's directional in a sense. If I turn it a little this way or that, it doesn't pick up the sign. So it gives you an idea of which direction to start heading. And as you get closer to it, then you get a much more narrow pattern so that you can actually find the entrance. Members of the media inside right now getting a little sneak preview, uh, kicking the tires or what, if you will. Um, and also, uh, public invited Thursday, the 18th. And there's an old saying that says, thinking is more interesting than knowing but less interesting than looking. And you should certainly come and take a look at this. It is unbelievable. And we'll see firsthand what the capacity is, John, I would imagine, with all the visitors going there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they were talking about giving tickets because they anticipate on Thursday it's going to be very crowded down here. I would imagine so. Thank you very much, John Kessler, for that live report. By the way, the new library is located right across the street from the old one on the corner of Larkin and Fulton. And Brian Hackney is here to tell us now whether it's good weather to be inside a library in yeah, the kind have, of days. Have you been down there? Have you seen it yet? I haven't been inside it, no. no that's good. I, I had to do a story on earthquake, the, uh -huh. the seismic structure of the right. building. So I've seen the basement. <laughs> and, uh, and we should be assured. Yeah, the building looks a lot nicer than the basement, although the basement's cool. We're going to do that size. The whole building sits on, like, um, shock absorbers. It's really cool. Anyway, that, more on that later.